Hey guys, we're just all on here with another episode of Little Minecraft Forge, and today I'm going to show you how to create a custom entity. So, well, a custom entity class. This entity class is going to concentrate on adding uh, mobs mainly, so that's what I'm going to show you how to set it up for. And yeah, so let's jump right in, shall we? So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to right click inside of your package explorer, go to new class, and I'm going to change the package directory to com. dot Entity and the class, uh, the name of this class will be TN Entity. I'm gonna hit finish and that's it. Okay, so we're going to create our basic things in here, like that like we did for all the other classes. So, public static void main registry. Okay, we're going to have only have one thing published in here for now, but I'm just going to do and we're going to go public. Static void register entities entity sorry we'll tell you that and that's the only thing we're going to have in there okay because that's the only thing we need to call upon so inside of our main register main register I'm going to type tm dot uh, tm entity dot main register okay so we're going to go back into here. I'm going to create two more methods. Uh, the first method is going to be public static void uh, create entity. And this is going to take multiple parameters. The first parameter we're going to have is the class. So, what a class is is basically anything to class, like, you know, this is inside of, um, if we actually look inside of. Not in here, but we look in the source code for Minecraft and look at the files. So we've got to MCPs, tutorials, source, main, Java, ASCOM, cross pressure, block. You can see it's uh, actually got dot Java in there. Basically, this is just a class file. Okay, so, um, so it's going to call upon the Java files on this, and this will be just entity class. Okay, so this is basically calling upon a file. The next one gonna, we're going to have is the name of the entity. Entity name. And then the next one's going to be solid. Solid. Colour. I'm going to spell it the English way. Because I'm English. And, I'm gonna, and then the next last, the last um, one's going to be spot. Colour. Okay, and the reason we're um, creating these these last two variables is because we're going to be adding an, an egg to the entity as well. So this is all going to be automated. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add a few things to this method. So we're going to create an integer called random ID, and this is going to be equal to entity registry dot find global unique entity. And basically, this will kind of like generate an ID. Well, not generate, it's actually going to just go through all the IDs that are available and see which one we can actually fill up with our entity. So it'll be ra rather than calling upon, calling upon an ID, we're always going to call upon an entity class rather than look for IDs, because it's always going to be random. It could be anything, it could be ten, it could be 20, it could be 30, it could be, it could vary for different people uh, when they've installed the mod. Okay, the next one we're going to create is entity registry dot register global entity ID it's gonna be uh, the first one's gonna be entity class entity name and then obviously random ID okay so basically what this does is actually gonna register the entity into the game and we're actually gonna add another one similar to that so entity registry dot register mod entity okay now you don't add this 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 bit here isn't actually required okay it just allows us allows us to do a few more advanced things with the actual uh, the actual NC that we're placing in the thing, okay? Because, uh, and you see, we've got a few more parameters to fill in, and it allows us to do more advanced things like send velocity updates. The other thing I've never really understood, but also edit the tracking range, which we'll explain in a minute once we get to the thing. The NC class and NC they've all been automatically filled for us. The ID we're going to have as random ID. So basically, these two IDs will be the, uh, kept as the same because it's all stored in one variable. The mod, okay. So this is basically an instance of your mod. So what you need to do is you need to go back to your main registry. 
you know, to type at instance brackets. I'm going to go to my strings. It's my strings. Dot mod ID. And then I'm going to go public static. It has to be static, so it's global. A global variable. Main registry mod instance. Okay. So you might have to import instance, but I've already experimented with this mod before. So the mod it's going to be main registry dot mod instance. Okay, now the tracking range. Um, this is basically like how far Minecraft will keep the entity loaded. So 64 will be 64 blocks, that's what, four chunks. So if we set it to 64, we can set it to 32. I recommend for um, performance reasons, we just set, set this to 32, because 32 is a fairly large range. I used to use 128, so I'd set it at 32, just off. Four chunks sounds enough, so it's 32. Now we'll keep it at 64, so 64 will basically be like four chunks away, because most computers can handle that, I assume, because it's just keeping an entity, uh, an entity moving, okay? The update frequency we're going to set to 1. I'm not too sure how to explain the update frequency, but... Yeah, it's just the frequency of tracking updates. Never really understood that. And then the same philosophy of updates, basically, is um, finding the uh, packets of what the mob's sending to, to the server, so this would be useful for server-side, but um, also to it also send the same thing to client. So basically, the velocity is basically finding the speed of the mob. So I'll set that to true. Okay. Now I'm going to type underneath that create egg. Okay. And that's not actually a method yet, so I'm going to hover over that and hit create method. And this is going to take a couple of parameters. It's going to take a random ID. It's going to take solid color and then another insert which will be spot color okay and what we're going to do here is we're going to set uh, well, we're not just going to write one line of code in this but it's just useful to have it in a separate area so it doesn't make things confusing because this is just making an egg, egg registering an egg and creating the egg but this is actually registering the actual entity, so it allows us to keep track of what's what, so we can actually minus this down and things, and come back to it later, if we ever want to do more advanced things with it. Okay, so we're going to type entity list dot entity eggs one dot put integer dot value of, however it is. It's going to be a simple one, which will be look for the random ID we just added. I'm sorry being quiet, guys. It's just that uh, kids have just gone to bed, so I'm going to kind of keep it down. Okay, and um, so after that, I'm going to create new. So let's create a new instance of this. NC list dot NC egg info. It's going to take three parameters, which will be the random ID, the solid color, and then the spot color. Okay, basically the solid color and the spot color is actually going to be the color of the egg and the uh, the solid color of the egg. You know, like in Minecraft, it has like for like a zombie egg. It will be blue as a solid color and green as the actual spots on the on, on the egg. Which we'll uh, find out in a minute. Okay, so to create uh, the premises, this is going to take. It's going to take our random ID, which we created in here. We're just going to call upon that. And then comma solid color. And then spot color. Okay, so basically, this, these two variables are going to be the same, and the same with random ID, which is that. So that and that's the same, and those two, and those two are the same. Okay, so basically, this is going to make sure that these two and uh, these two random IDs are going to be linked. So all three of these registries are all going to have the same ID. So it makes sure it's all linked to the same mod, the uh, same mob. Okay, so that's it. I guess we can actually um, we can actually kind of like demonstrate this because it's not really um, it's not going to be um, able, I don't know how to prove it works without having actually having to demonstrate. It. So we'll just create a quick mob. So I'm going to type in. Um, you don't have to do this part, but I'm going to type in 
uh, create entity because that's what the method we just made. It's going to require a class, so I'm going to go entity tut mob dot class comma and it's going to ask us for a name tut mob comma and then it's going to ask us for a solid color and a spot color. Okay. So a good place to find uh, colors, okay? You can't just like like red and all that has to be computer code. So just go to color, so go into Google and type color picker, and there should be something called colorpicker.com. I'll link it in the description. Okay, or an annotation the video, I'm not too sure I'll do. One, two, and I guess I'll give it a red background. So the way we actually um since it's an integer, we can't have the hashtag you know, like it doesn't there at, at like zero. FF and all that. It needs to be zero X, and then you can paste whatever the, whatever color you just copied from there. So I want to have a I'm gonna have a red background with a dark blue uh, with dark blue spots. Zero X, no, dark blue spots. Like so, okay. So now I'm actually gonna create this class briefly. Hit finish. I'm gonna make it extend um, entity mob. For now, because this, like I said, this is demonstrated to mobs. I'm going to add the constructor pre briefly, and I'm just going to demonstrate it briefly so I can actually show you the egg in game. So we're going to run the client. Mojang. And you see that since we've actually created the NCA, it's already in our inventory, and I've got to give it a name. You need to go to assets land, go to Ian must call US, and that's how to give this thing a name, so we'll go. Entity dot, and then we need to actually use this name here, which we created. So ours was tutmob dot name is going to be equal to tutorial mob. Okay, so we'll run the client again, and hopefully it'll have a name this time. Like I said, the reason it's in inventory because it carries over the ID from what we were using before. Because Minecraft doesn't use IDs anymore, that's why it doesn't clear your inventory anymore. Now you see we've got spawn tutorial mob and it has a red background with a blue foreground. So red spot uh, red background blue spots. And yeah, it's just that. You can actually if you spawn it it'll just spawn some at white because we haven't textured it all. And basically what it's do is gonna go kinda like spaz out and just jump up or down the spot because it's sending velocity updates even though it's not doing anything. So if we hit it. Oh it moves. That comes to a shock. Obviously, you didn't really know what to do if we were attacking it. It should really run away. But yeah. <laughs> he didn't do anything because we haven't told him to do anything because he's just a very, very. He doesn't have any AI. He just knows to like, move. That's about it. It doesn't move much. <laughs> okay, because he's just using the uh, normal and mob code. But we'll create our own custom AI later. But anyway, guys, this has been Rose from Thanks for watching. I've been showing you how to make a custom mob. Um, bye, guys. Thanks. Bye.